problems come my way. So anyways, like I said, thank you for for allowing me to stay here. I give her all praises. You know what I mean? Her church, her church over here is beautiful, you know what I mean? It's a little, uh, how you say, say quiet, but yo, you know what I mean? Beautiful spot, beautiful spot, a lot of, you know, character over here, you know what I mean? And plus, you know what I mean? Well, I can't wait to finish your she tomorrow. Oh, she gonna get like decked out, like some 2080 type thing. You know what I mean? It's gonna be beautiful. Can't wait to see when I come back. Yo, it's gonna be looking like a million bucks, I can tell. You know what I mean? But like I said before, happy holidays to my people. Special, special shout out to my people. Matter of fact, hold up. I'm gonna give a shout out. Hold up. Hold up. Shout out to my man, David, man. David the Barber out here, son, yo. If you want to get the best cut, man, and trust me, yo. My man, Thoroughbred, man. Listen, I didn't even charge him nothing for this, yo. He's a Haitian brother, you know, already know. He's second generation. He's born out here, so you already know. I had to touch him up a little, like, yo, see what his mind working with. And, yo, he's an entrepreneur, the way he's talking. So, yo, David the Barber, go to that spot. You know what I mean? Tell them, yo, here's the number, yo. Look it up in Miami. If you were down here, you want to get a sick, ill cut, like this is the barber to go to, yo. Everybody know this dude. Everybody go to here, right here. 786 597 9721. You know what I mean? You can reach him at swag305 at aol.com. If you don't know that, if, you, if I didn't say it right, just contact the number, like I said, 786-597-9721. Make sure you definitely holler. I'm going to keep that, man. You know what I mean? When I got to make some special move, because when I get fresh, I get fresh for myself. So when I decide I'm going to need it, like I'm going to go heavy, I got that. But right now, I'm going to save him for last right now because I still got to, you know what I mean, make, make some moves, other moves. But anyways, yo, if you want to go get at him, Go out at him, man. Okay, right here. Now, matter of fact, I don't know if I should tell you the good or the bad. Let's start with the bad and work where you good. But listen, man. Listen to here, man. What did I get? Okay, this, I think this is a fucking laptop. Seven ninety something. You know what I mean? Jesus, I'm spending bread out here. Okay, Wing Dixie, yo. Never fucking heard of this place till now. Like, if, if you got a shop, don't go there. Unless, you know, they advertise with me and I'll say go there. But right now, I wouldn't go there. It's just special as fuck. Anyways, like I said before, look at this. I bought one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten items. Ten items. It cost me sixty-eight dollars. What? What did I buy? What? Wait a minute. Uh, chicken. Uh, beef patty. Uh, chicken hearts. You know, I like making chicken hearts. That's nutrients from those hearts. Keeps mine bumping harder than most of y'all. So that means when I got a you know what I mean? Extra blood down there, you already know. Extra, extra, extra read all about it. Stiff all day. But yeah, man, like I said before, yo, special. I save these receipts, yo. You know what I mean? I save these receipts. Because I told you, when you in a church, everything is recouped. recouped. You know what I'm saying? You got to make your plan, man. You got to know the plan and get on it. Man, fuck all that. Working for somebody. I got time for that. Listen, man. Two, I'm recouping two ninety, two ninety one dog. Business, not business. I'm sorry. A, a preaching of engagement. I was fundraising. Come on, man. This is nothing. It's a recoup. I don't play games, man. Like, like I said, get your mind together, man. If you're an entrepreneur, like I said, start your own barbershop, man. 
You know what I mean? Do your thing, son. And I got a couple of other people down there you need to check out. If one barber's not open, get another barber. If that barber, get another one. That's how it works. They got tons of crafty dudes over there that can get you up there. Get with the swag amount. You know what I mean? Like I said before, yo, I'm here for y'all. Anyone, any place I wanna go, any place I'm at, I'm, I make them bread, man. I make the hood bread. That's the hood church, that's the hood mentality. I make everybody money. That was like I was talking to my bro, my bro. Yo, I could step in any hood. Any hood. Because I go for the, for, for the, for the ones that make it moves, let me in because I already told them what how to make two bill, two mil times a hundred. Understand? That's how I do. You want you wanna make a mill? Yeah, hey, you gonna need a thousand dollars, you're gonna need this, you're gonna need that. And you're gonna be a millionaire in three months. That's what I do. I go in the hood and spark it up, and then next thing you know, things is moving and shaking. That's what I do, that's why I wear this. I cultivate minds. You understand? I cult I cultivate anything that sparks in you to get what you wanna get. Fuck appearance. Fuck anything you ever heard that doesn't make sense. It's irrelevant to your mind. Your mind is the most sacred thing you could ever have. Anything you let in there is gonna be the representation of you. So if you can't represent yourself to the fullest in the in the right degree of fame of 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 of, of honor, ownership. You know what I mean? You're going by your word type shit? Come on, son. I, te I tend to step back on the word situation when money is involved because people try to take advantage. You know what I mean? Even though they don't think I know they're taking advantage, but they oh, I know they're taking advantage, I let it slide because I'd rather you do it and we cool than another person do it and I don't, you know what I mean? It gets me dead. I pick the right people around me all the time. That's why I'm still here. You gotta understand. A lot of people of my age die. Why do they die? Why am I special? Why are they not special? That's what you gotta think. Beautiful kids and babies died. That's how you gotta look at it. Their mothers, their fathers, they don't look at them as whatever name they are. They look at it, yo, my baby died. So why is my baby dead and this guy with a clown hat alive? I'm not blessed. I'm not blessed more than your son. I'm not blessed more than anybody's children or whatever. I I want to know that everybody's equal. You know what I mean? Listen, I I, I could I could sit here and preach and go all about that BS and give you a bunch of ways to make money, but it's not going to make you any happier. The difference between making $5,000 and also making five million dollars or five billion dollars is no different. You got billionaires walking into Walmart. You feel me? Cause they got a piece of Walmart. You think he coming in and shut nah, dog? He's coming get his product and walk out the store for free. My my cousin does that, my dude. He owns a business, not knowing other people don't know he owns it. Walks in there, oh, this is the new fashion. I got a discount card and just swipe, swipe, boom, boom. It's, it goes in the in the, in his in his corporate credit card. Anything corporate ain't that cool. That's why I tell people get your get get your LLC up, dog. Get your LLC, LLC. You already know. Do your research. Get your homework up, man. If you are OG, OGs, yo, listen up real quick, son. Like. Implement me into your youth. You understand? You understand what I'm telling you? You you read my frequency. Implement me into the youth and I will raise them up to be my children. Not the way like my son, none of that. Talking about the future of my knowledge, then they gonna pass it on to their children. That's why I say they're my children. Cause what you teach is what the children teach to the other children. That's how it works. You are never a grown up really. When a God looks at you, he don't look at you as a man or a, a woman, no. You was always his baby, his, his everything, is it? To this day, he still knows every name that has ever existed. So, you know I can't help you. 
because sometimes you need to be where you need to be to build yourself up. This 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 is common sense that people been profiting and making you buy them planes, and I'm giving it to you for free. I mean, I think I want to buy I want to buy you a plane. You ever had somebody do that for you? Buy you a plane for the fuck of it. Imagine you join. Imagine you join a church first day. They say, yo, here, here's a bet, Nick, son. Along the, I'm not saying it's going to happen, you know, like I said, promotional, this is only for promotional use and all that, and that, nothing I can say can be used against me in court of law because I give no consent to any any government, any any country, any state line, and anything that involves restricting my right of freedom, I will not be participating. Once I say that, once you get that, get that in the stream every day, every day you're alive, you already like, know you're a free man. If you practice that every day, you're a free man. I might jump to different things at the same time while talking about different things, but you catch my picture while I'm talking. As long as you understand my verbs, my 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 my, my meanings, my my inflection of me trying to tell you the truth, you'll catch up slowly, uh, but eventually. Ooh, okay. Okay, now that I'm... No, no, wait. wait just more to more. Mm. I can tell now when I'm not dehydrated, when I can feel the spit coming back and my lips not being too dry. Mm. Two more. And remember, no one's paying me yet. I'm doing this for me. I'm not for sale, people. I like donations, but I'm not for sale. Listen, <laughs> I'm a part-time rapper, part-time poet. You know what I mean? Some of the people, they see some of the things I wrote. Some of them, you know what I mean? Appreciate it, they don't, whatever the case might be. All it is, I write what I feel. No one bothers me when I speak, when I'm writing something down. It's me, it means I'm, I'm a inflect, um, Try to reflect my soul at that point in time. Any words I can um, c c c um, converse to to you, and anything in your comprehension that could bring you to the the thought of my realization that you know what I mean. I'm trying to sound smart by trying to tell you things. You already know I'm giving an effort, but when I'm talking like on some fast pace and I say something crazy and it sounds good to you. This is a freestyle thinking. You know what I mean? I don't rehearse anything. That's why I say this is the realest church you can have. Because these people wake up. Let me see what I could get for these suckers. Because these guys say these are suckers. They wake up every day, clock in and clock out. You know, just like a job. Just got to put that nice perfume on and go to church. No, they got a church everywhere around them. But it's cool too. I love them. I love them to death. Like I said, it's funny to watch though. I mean, they had me on that shit for a while. Like, even when I was, even y'all little, y'all know it's like the fuck. And you just look at them like, yo, they expect me to fucking go to school, get straight A's, motherfucker. I can't sleep Saturday, dog. There's no school, dog. I mean, and and then we gotta go tomorrow again. I mean, church days is the week. Like, yo, I'm surprised you you don't make me to go Wednesday Bible study, dog. Damn, dog. Can, can I live? Like, you just want to say that out loud, but you know when you in that Haitian environment, nah, dog. <laughs> <laughs> nah, dude. So, you, until even your hair on your balls ain't make you say, dog. For real, I shit. I only got my freedom, like, from them, like, because I say, yo, fuck, I ain't the nigga. That, that, that stupid shit they used to say, like, uh, nigga, I'm gonna spit on my left titty, and then you gonna drop dead, like, the fuck? You can't have you scared, man. Right? This bitch gonna kill me. <laughs> but you really know, man. Your brothers ain't gonna do nothing to their kids. You learn, once you learn that, you know, you take advantage. <laughs> I learned that in the sixth fucking grade, dog. Fuck that shit. Yeah, you know I mean, I'm playing that dog room spill. <laughs> that's, a, that's the funniest shit I've ever heard in my life. Oh, man. Hilarious. I got a drink to that right there. Whew. So many beatdowns for no reason. Off of my common sense. Like, 
Yeah, let me go to Coney Island. You know what I mean? Fuck it, I want to go see Coney Island. Rock over there. I didn't get killed. I didn't get mugged. Next thing you know, I come back home. Where the fuck you been? I was I was like Pokemon. I was adventuring. I was Pikachu. And what the, leave me alone. What the fuck? Can I, can I live? Nah, nigga. Bah, 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 bah. Nah, that's not a rap song, nigga. That's not a beat. That's a beat down with a leather strap, nigga. You know what I mean? How you call it? Uh, limitations, you know, is read out. And plus, they old as hell. And I know how to get them out of jail. So, my parents ain't going to jail. So, I can snitch on them now. Yeah, they used to beat me. And yeah, what? I ain't saying no names or anything. But you already know. No snitching. You already know. If you snitch, you a bitch. Knowing you don't have to snitch. Because all you got to do is know jurisdiction. And you still end up snitching. If you know jurisdiction. And you snitch. You, you the worst kind of human being alive, man. You get you get the tools to stay out of jail and you don't need to get in jail but you still end up snitching. Be oh, all because oh they, they threaten your daughter, your son. So you probably you wanna basically fuck it up for somebody else family, then your family, that's what it is. With the battery like, oh shit, I got two battery lights. That, that's how I know. I gotta rush it up. Damn, standing up. I need a lazy boy. Oh I missed out of the couch. Oh Lord. Uh. Oh. Ah, four twenties going okay so far could be better but anyways oh this shit is good like I said like I said before water got the corona I got my CPU this is my computer artificial intelligence basically uh, I, I programmed it I like it, it basically if someone tries to steal it if I don't give the right code, basically it's gonna get dead. It's gonna look like an ordinary phone. But this is my guy CPU. Basically, it makes music. It does everything, and like it's sample. Like I'm doing it, but I'm not the one doing it. Anyways, like yo, this right here is worth like trillion dollars. No, it's not worth. It. I'm lying. You know what I mean? Listen, don't come and rob me. Try to do this, blah blah blah. But then again, you can't see my face. I, that's why I do it less. So I like. I don't want to be famous. Fuck that famous shit. Fuck around and have it like a crazy bitch. Like Chris Brown waiting for me in a fucking... Ah, oh man, I got an itch. Ooh, waiting for me in my bed. Ooh. I don't know if it's because I'm a fat thing, but... Mm, I be having like a random itches. Does that happen to everybody? I hope it does because... I be just having like... And you don't feel no bug or nothing. It just be like... Out of nowhere, like it's little microscopic flies come around, running around on my body, or maybe the government learn how to shrink things and you know what I mean, Mug fucking, fucking crazy. <sighs> I feel good yeah, already. Once you put this in, it feels like you got a beer belly already. That's crazy. I can feel the hard abs under here. I just gotta unlock it with the right special woman, you know what I mean? You know, the one that wakes me up, you know what I mean? Let's go, baby, it's time to go run. And I, I was, you know what I mean? And then I start to slowly get to match her pace. And then we, you know what I mean? We in sync, you know what I mean? And then we build each other. Basically, she follows my lead all day because I hold, I hold rank off on anything. I, I have the last decision. I'm the captain on the fucking boat. She's my fucking general all day. That's what we do. You feel me? And that's what kind of girl I want. You know what I mean? Also, too, I'm sorry, ladies. Not a lot of you ready for this. But slowly, she gonna get to the point where she knows me. And she already know I can't be just with one woman. And she starts following me. And then we gonna become best friends with another girl. And then basically, she likes that girl. And we fuck her together, basically. She, she's on it, like, basically on the threesome. Like, she's, she loves hooking me up with girls. And she loves watching me. She loves fucking with, Like, I just want to fuck my girls even harder. You know what I mean? That's, that, if I find a girl like that, we'll be soul linked forever. And plus, she, 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 know, she, she know how to bust a gun for me. You already know. I'm talking about bust a gun as far as in mind, not not in guns. We don't we don't um we don't touch guns. We we got people for that. You feel me? I don't do those. You know what I mean? Guns is nothing you wanna touch. You know what I mean? If you if you on a level of you a trigger man to live with that, to kill somebody, nah. D dunny, dunny, all you gotta do is whisper in the right ear with the right kind of words together, be like, yo, 
So I, I thought I thought my man was gonna bless me, you know what I mean? I thought he was gonna give me that donation, but he gave me his word and he didn't give me his donation, you feel me? And then my man pick up on that and be like, Word, yeah, I'm 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 gonna pray for him. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna see what you know what I mean we could do for him, you know what I mean? We gonna we gonna go over there and talk to him and get her like a what you call it, intervention. Make sure he knows like yo, we, you know what I mean, we know where he works. Yeah, we, we we know like yo, I mean, remember you get laid three times at your job, you 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 getting excommunicated. You feel me? That's how it works. They don't care about your flat tires. You feel me? That's what I'm saying. That's why I would recommend you donate to the church, but not yet. Make sure you subscribe more people. Make sure you bring them over here. Make sure you know you don't know that um. It's good to let everybody be rich. You know what I mean? I mean, because that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give you the game plan, people. I wanna have basically how this works. I'm uh before the battle runs out, I'm gonna tell you the game plan's gonna set. I'm gonna make sure Rick Ross become the new man because if he does this, he's gonna be a thoroughbred. He's gonna basically be the kingpin of Miami by being a mayor, dog. And he could do it because if you change this, if you liven up this place and slow it down with the prices out here. It's crazy. This is what you do. You get people to donate. Go around cities, you know what I mean? Wherever cities. Wherever city you at. You know I mean, make sure if the, if, if the donations in um, um, Pennsylvania, make sure you already know. The church knows already. It's in, it's in PA. That's your bro. That's your, that's your, that's your spot. So we, we, we play. The more places that get the more donations, we invest in that place. So let's say uh, like five million people donate in Miami. This is what we do. We come in, we buy a hotel, right? We say, listen, I want this, you know what I mean? 60 floor hotel, boom. Word, 60 floor hotel, boom. Get that. Gut it out, make it nice and spent. You know what I mean? Up to date to the 2030 standard because, you know what I mean? My mind is from the future. You probably don't know that yet, but I'm gonna catch you up. So basically, um. You get that up. You buy it buy, buy the buy the hotel. Once you buy the hotel, this is what you do. You gut it out and futurize it. Things that people have never seen, innovations and um basically come together with engineers and come up with evolutionary things and make like the place to be. Cause there's no more TVs no more in the future, dog. All you gotta do is is holograms all the way following. You want a TV walking down your house? Which is basically the whole walls are white or blue or whatever. It's accustomed to the basically the the thing on the, basically the it's like a rotation, not a rotation. Basically a thing that's following you. It's like a assistant following you slow. It, you can't hear it, but it's it's like it's a slow a little motor. Nothing you can't hear. Not too light, too heavy. So basically it's following you. And you say yo, let's say people, you know what I mean whatever name you give it, like yo. Billy Bob, what, what's going on for the night? Uh, who, who's playing football? And then it pops on the wall, little stats, whatever. This is playing, this is playing. And if you got things like, um, you know what I mean, those gambling places like FanDuel, uh, like I said, FanDuel, 1.5 million pounds. We can talk about, you know, editing that out. But like I said before, yo, make sure, how you call it, um, uh, oh, oh yeah, the, the house, the, the hotel. Basically, you gut that, make sure it's relevant, make it good, good and all that, spiffy and all that. And then next thing you know, your assistant following you, no TVs in the house, everything smart TV, it's smart holograms in your house. You know what I mean? And then it, we could take it even a step further. If you want to escape your house, your, your, your house that you have now, you could just put a VR on, boom. And you could have everything you think your house is supposed to look like in that space. So you put it on, your eyes see what you want to see. So you turn it around in rotation. So you're in that kind of hotel. So imagine as soon as you start in that hotel, you can't come in with no bags. You can't come in with nothing. All you come in is with your spot, basically. Your 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 your, your ticket, your airplane, whatever. Your passport, matter of fact, you have to have your passport. That, that means promote people to get their passport. So basically, before you even enter the hotel, you got to present your passport. 
once you present your passport, you get in there. And then once you get in there, there's a certain area, the waiting area. Basically, you clean your house, you clean yourself. Basically, you take a shower, and then you put nothing on. Not nothing. I mean, uh, a white robes or whatever. You know, it's nice, regular white. Sh you know what I mean? Clothing or whatever you want to have it. Whatever you think is fashionable, but it's plain. Nothing crazy unless you, in the future people want to, you know what I mean? Especially my, you know, the gay guys. They're going to they, they're gonna perk it up, you know, colors and all that. So, but until then, I'm talking about all white, all, everything clear. And the next thing you know, boom, you go in that hotel, fresh, new person. In that hotel, you can walk with your, just your feet. Everything is clean. Basically, imagine you get uh, five, f like five free days the first time you come. And basically, food is pro provided, uh, organic food, nothing, steroids, nothing, everything. We The chefs are well-maintained, everything, uh, hygienically, like, five-star restaurant in there. Boom, it's locked up. And makes you, makes you imagine it's free. For five days, everybody signing up for that website. Boom, five days free. Come into the new generation, the new future. Once you step on those, those, those doors, you you already know, and since the hotel is free, the parking on the garage, or whatever, is free as well. You know what I mean? It's free, but you make you gotta make sure every day you have to come back in. You can't just leave the car one day and you know what I mean and come because we already know people won't take advantage. So you and once you, I mean once you stay past a certain point, it's only 23 hours. So after 23 hours, if you don't get that car out, and the next hour, let's say um. Two o'clock, come back around, and then, then you can reset. But as far as anything, you gotta make sure you gotta update that shit because you can't have a car. You know what I mean? Staying in there, it's, it's not. I mean, free is free, but people take advantage. So you gotta stay, still a point. So I already got that locked in. So imagine you got free parking. You know what I mean? I mean, a certain point after whatever, it could be three hour free parking or something like that. I mean, four hour parking, whatever. It don't matter as long as it's free. Especially you know what I mean? You don't need nothing. But, you know what I mean, when you go in, that tag that you have, you know, it's going to be scanned and all that. You already know what you got to do. But make, sure, make sure it's free, but get to the point where you know people are going to fuck up and try to take advantage of you. You account for that. That's what I'm saying. Anyways, you get everything free. So imagine you got a free hotel, futuristic hotel, and all they require from you is your email, what you call it, and uh, to be a friend on Facebook, or, or what you call it, uh, Everything linked up. So imagine you just all you gotta do is, and then all all they do is subscribe all their people, basically to to, I mean subscribe their companies to you. Basically, you know email you with their companies. Basically, you know marketing and all that. So basically, it's free, but all they gotta do is send you waste wasteful. Um, so you could have basically a, a email for that. Basically, create an alternate email and then just give that to them. And then you know what I mean you already know what you gotta do. All you gotta do, know right now, the hotel's gonna be free. Everybody's gonna come in. Everybody's gonna do what they gotta do. I don't want this to erase because last time I left it on, you already know it erased everything. So listen, yo, make sure make a hotel that's free, futuristic, beautiful, hygienic, smells good, and people wanna come back. And the next plan I'm gonna give you is gonna make you, it's gonna make children become men and leaders. Yo, next episode, next church, you already know. Signing off, you already know. It's your king, your, your, your God, your number one killer of your friend. I mean, a killer of your friend, you already know. Holla at your king, you already know. Kingdom in the building, it's your man, you already know. I don't gotta tell you my name, you already know who I am. You know what I mean? I'm one of the, the, true, the true believers of, of the hood and the hood church as well. So make sure you subscribe, you pass this knowledge on, and also, you know what I mean, I got more coming to you, but right now, oh my God, it's hot. I'm gonna, I'm you know, continue with my beverage, and I'll holler at you now. All right, you know what I mean? All right, one.